facing off against somebody who had an upset to meet you, mm -hmm. I, there's kind of this desire to like have a very quick statement at the beginning of the game of you're not supposed to be here yet. You got your upset, but it's going to be a while before you can really play with the big boys. And I think that's usually what you know these players try to do. Let's see if that might end up happening or whether Jazzy can make the statement that they do in fact belong. And right now we're over on TNC. Jazzy going Ligio Bayonetta and Vivi going Lucario. Probably something that he usually goes against with Jazzy. And maybe he'll that'll be... Oh, but no, but Jazzy's doing amazing, oh God, all these amazing very video that's combos. Be death. Yep, that's death! Jazzy's been doing... What?! <laughs> Are you kidding me?! This is... Absolutely absurd! Holy... Jazzy, ha Jazzy has been working at these Bayo combos, making sure they are connecting every single time. Look at this right now. Oh, okay, never mind. Not right now, I guess. But soon, I know we're gonna see another Bayo combo just like that. Oh, he oh boy. <sighs> She's gonna be... They gonna have to be careful back, with, with that, uh, with Aura Sphere in charge of Vivi, in charge of Lucario. Man, things... <laughs> yeah, it, it is worth keeping in mind, this is still Lucario, and it's still Vivi's yes. Lucario. If Jazzy is not careful, he can get blown up pretty much, I mean, now, 20% ago, there's always the threat. Oh... A little bit less of a threat now! All right, three stocks to one? What are you doing? There's what no are you way. doing? Uh, like, oh, that the is not going no to aura. kill. No. Do you see what happens? Lucario is not a real character until like 80%. Well, and there's a good example of that. Or oh, that just didn't kill because he had no aura. But now Jazzy racking up those, that percentage on Vivi. Oh, but he came back, of course. Still able to continue it. No Legend of Invincibility though. Can Very Jazzy actually make it back? Sphere. <laughs> Jazzy starts a one-stock lead against Vivi, who's at 60%, a very comfortable percentage to kill at, or start a combo with Bayo and kill at. Oh. I can't believe that afterburn kick landed! Oh, looking for the side, the, the forward smash and everything! Oh. Getting hit by that charge of Aura Sphere, because now Vivi yeah. has a good, good amount of aura on him. Yeah, and this is where things can actually get really dicey. Once that Aura Sphere starts really hitting below ledge, it can be a lot trickier for Bayonetta to actually recover. Let's see if this ledge trap can maybe be seen into some type of stock. 110% on Lucario is actually terrifying. That's, oh, that's super dead. Yep. And now if you're Dazzy, you did a great job, you know? You, you managed to get this massive lead. And what does it mean now? Can you actually turn this into a win, Jazzy? Oh, possibly, possibly. 127 on with Vivi. Jazzy only at 2.4%. But again, Lucario is so strong right now. It's death percent. It li literally, oh. you're at death percent. As, as, as Jazzy. Oh, he has to be careful with those Vivi, uh, like, truth he always does. And he's one of oh the other issues. Gosh. Bayonetta can kind of struggle to kill at times. And it's like, also, if you are Jazzy, if you have had this much of a lead and you're freaking loser's quarters of Xeno, and then you lose it, that's the sort of thing where I don't know if your mentality can come back from that. This is so much is on the line right now. The side oh my beat. gosh! That should have been death. But you played it a little bit it. too safe with the punish. Oh no, oh no. I think an amazing job avoiding these aura sphere that could definitely kill them right now, actually. 100%. Oh, man. It's so, so scary. And once they get launched, they're also a ball of death coming right oh, in. That the dash game. attack is enough. That's the first game. Jazzy takes game one in a nail fighter. Miss me, baby. Oh, my goodness. That was an insane start, an insane end, just all around. It didn't even feel like three minutes went by, uh, <laughs> or four minutes, like... It was four minutes! Jeez! And keep in mind, that game started off with a zero to death in the first, like, 15 seconds. Literally. It was insane, absolutely. Jazzy has to have been cranking out these Bayo combos. Matt has to have been, ch like, practicing them religiously. Look at this. This absolutely. That was lethal. That was, that was a crime. Fan that was a crime. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're going to be moving on into game two. And ah, it's the sort of thing where it's really good that Jazzy won that game. Because otherwise, 
I, it's so hard to come back from that, mm -hmm. you know, mentally when you're already the underdog. Wow. So securing that win was very, very good. But also, it felt like maybe VV figured out what he needed to be doing in the matchup. As we move into game two, let's see whether or not that is in fact what happened. If Jazzy can recreate that success or not, a lot, a lot is on the line for both of these players. The only difference in this stage between, uh, I believe it was TNC and and a small battle is that there's now two platforms and the middle is completely empty. So possibly that middle platform might not be... Oh, I might be eating my words. I was going to say it might not be uh, beneficial for Jazz to lose the middle platform, but clearly not. The ground. I don't think he has his jump. Oh my gosh. Right now, Vivi is at a really, really dangerous percent. Uh, not only in terms of what? kill, but literally because of Jazzy might die right here because Vivi's at 114 with so much aura. But Vivi connects, if, if Jazzy connects all of this, oh, but they didn't. Jazzy really looking for this back air. Once you get to higher percent, that's kind of one of Peyo's only real kill options. Whereas, look at Ocario. Oh, but Jazzy's climbing right back, pairing that aura spear. All right, going for a super low recovery. I like that because, oh, no, no, no. Not a lot of resources left, but manages to get to the back to the ledge regardless. Things are looking so dicey right now for both of these players. It's so hard to cut because it's just, I'm so interested in what's going on. And I'm so scared of what's going to happen to these players because right now Jazzy easily can be killable. And Vivi also, but is Vivi so much more dangerous at the moment? That's just like enough. that. I think there was maybe a bit of questionable DI involved there. Oh, oh but there the, it what is. the horror, Jazz. I think that, uh, yep, yep. Jazzy channel yep. the Emerald special. Truly. <laughs> just going for that forward smash. It is a surprisingly good move. And it keeps things neck and neck totally even. Which is really important for Jazzy at this point. This is a long and like large hitbox. This is so long and it extends so much off of Jazzy. And right now VV has 71%. Jazzy's taking no damage at the moment. However, it, it doesn't really matter because Lucario, once he gets to like 91%, he can be so, <laughs> do so dangerous. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Jazzy was just waiting for an air dodge of anything like that. <gasps> He's not dead no, yet. No, not, not yet. And this is the sort of thing where if you're Jazzy, you've done a great job. You know, you've got him into 133. But now nice, the real work comes. Oh! Oh, no punish on that parry! Ah! Actually parrying the dash attack and not managing to get it. There's definitely some nerves at play right now for Jazzy. Whereas Vivi seems calm as a cucumber. Oh, that air drop possibly could have been... <laughs> that might have been death straight up for oh, Jazzy. Right there. Oh, that man. That air getting right even underneath the ledge. Yeah, Jazzy had been avoiding it so, so well for so much of this game. But all it takes is one time where he, you know, he read the timing on the upbeat. And that's it, just death. And now this is where things are so much... The fact that Jazzy has to work so hard to get a kill right now and still have to face down Lucario, another stock immediately afterwards. Things are getting just uh, Jazzy awesome. trying to be really patient on the on the center stage. But they're just not able to get another hit on Vivi. Trying to call the stock so easy so so uh with so much effort. Oh you oh, saw the beginnings God. of that smash attack, but it just barely didn't come out in time. The frame data not quite there to back yeah. it up, and that's gonna oh, not be that's it. Not gonna Ooh. be it. Okay. I'm surprised as well. You know, Bayonetta also, let's not Okay. Oh, okay. Alright, yeah, yeah, alright, so... I'm surprised that it actually didn't clip to the ledge. It was so close. I think she was facing away. Yeah. He didn't grab the ledge. Ledge grabs are weird. So Le nice. Ledge is weird. Ledge bad. Ledge is subjective. That's what I always say. No, ledge is bad. <laughs> no, I, I say that I always play the ledge. Like, hello? And that's in in absolutely insane. I mean, that's... That's unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, had yeah, to the, go for the, the fast a little fall. bit too low. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was a little bit higher. They, they had, you know, they had to fast fall in yep. order to avoid that aura sphere, but just probably, yeah. But yep, yep, you're right. And there it is, game three. Jazzy right. taking game one, and that game two also a pretty close nail biter. The question is whether or not we will have a repeat success of game one, or whether Vivi will manage to just seal the deal, put Jazzy out of the tournament. Admittedly, at a nice side, you know, it's a it's a nice fifth place, mm -hmm. but considering the run that's been going on, you don't want it to end. And might be the beginning of the end. No, not quite. You're able to get out of those combos that the Bane is so known for, but oh, again, just, back, just all you're doing is racking up percentage on Vivi and making him more powerful and more difficult to fight against. It's so important to finish out those combos and hopefully get him off the stage. 
and into the blast zone. Oh. This platform movement. It's yep. been so good for Jazzy. Helps get out of so many tricky situations. When, you know, they're put at the ledge or something like that. Mm -hmm. But once again, things are. This is where the matchup really kicks into high gear. Bayo really can struggle to kill, especially at these percents. So the question is whether or not Jazzy can find the meaningful hit. And. Vivi oh. just seems to be playing around it beautifully right now. Vivi's playing the patient game. Yep. Vivi started to be a little more patient with his movements, making sure that he's able to find Jazzy's weak spots. And Jazzy's weak spot at the moment is recovering from the ledge oh. and trying to come back. Ooh, that could be really dangerous for Vivi. Just look back. <laughs> Jazzy trying to look for an opening of some kind, keeping the forward throw fresh. Knows that that is a kill option. Doesn't want to stale it in that sort of situation. Really looking, fiending for that back air, but <gasps> Vivi's just, just aware of it. Just out of reach of the forward smash as well. Really could have taken out that stock from Vivi, but just, oh god. Vivi's not. He's just finding every landing opportunity. Jazzy really hungering, trying to find that final hit. Still, yep, yeah, forward throw is still not going to be killing at that point. Forced to go for the back throw. That extreme just, speed, oh. I don't know what that would have done if that hit, but. Just barely missing the extreme speed. Oh, and the Aura Sphere! Jazz is having a lot of really close calls at the moment with Vivi's Lucario. And that's not going to be it. Yeah, and we now see that there is Jab at play. Jab is a pretty solid move and it does kill now, so that might be the option that Jazzy is looking for to actually get a stock. Even forward air is not enough to do it. 204%! And because of that, you have to respect so much from Lucario, but you need the kill so badly, but that's what happens when you don't! Uh, a complete turn up in game one, where Jazzy's completely dominating the scene. But right now, Vivi at 204%, I mean, three stocks. There's a reason why uh, Vivi is one of the best Lucario players in the world, mm -hmm. and it's because, especially when it gets to be those kill percents, the way he plays around kill options, it's... It's sublime. It's a thing to watch. Yeah, there it is. Dead at 30. And there wow. it is. At the very end, what an amazing run from Jazzy. Kind of cut short right there. Had to lead in that game to you also. But as soon as Vivi figured out what he needed to be doing in order to survive, it was like there was a bunker that was impenetrable. 204%. Again, Vivi was just exploiting Jazzy's weakness in order uh, of trying to recover from the ledge. Yeah. Bringing that, I believe Literally that was a did jump. <laughs> That's insane. Literally did at 30. Yeah. All because Lucar's at 203%.